folks. My name is Matthew Peterson, trainer here at Pragmatic Works. Uh, welcome to the YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, that way you can stay up to date on all the new videos we post, which is normally two to three a week. Uh, also, as you saw in the intro video, we do everything here from private training, hackathons, on-demand learning. Uh, if there's anything we can help you out with, please feel free to reach out. But let's get to what I want to talk about in this video, which is the ideas feature built into the Canvas App Design Studio. Now, you might have been using Canvas apps for a while and never even realized that there's this extra ideas feature built off to the side. And this is Microsoft's way of really bringing that low code to no code experience when designing your Canvas applications. This is where you can just basically tell Power Apps what you want to do, how you want to manipulate the data, how you want it to be shown in your Canvas application without writing a formula. It will come up with the formula for you. So this is a great feature for anyone who is brand new to Power Apps that doesn't know the formula language yet. I definitely recommend taking advantage of this. And then heck, for even up for those of us who know how to write these formulas, sometimes it's just quicker to tell the ideas feature what you want and let it write the formula for you. So without any further ado, let's showcase this feature here for you. So this application is my teacher tenure application where basically teachers can go in, put in different types of tenure where they start to accrue points. And what I just have here for this basic demonstration is I have a gallery and this gallery is bringing back the records from my tenure achievement logs table. And we can see that one of the records uh, values that I'm bringing in is the date that the achievement is submitted. I'm also bringing back the achievement type itself how many points that they're earning for the achievement, and in the end, who is the teacher that gets this achievement. So how can we use the ideas feature? Well, first thing I'm gonna do is show the gallery. I'm gonna select the whole entire gallery. And over on the right hand side, I have this ideas property in the properties panel. So I click on ideas. Notice here it says, how should your table or gallery be sorted, filtered, or searched? So now I can just provide it natural language and let it come up with some different ideas. And it's already giving me an idea without putting anything up here at the top. So let's say right here, I want to sort my records by the date of achievement submitted. And I can just click on it right here. So that's what I wanna do, sort records by date of achievement submitted. And now I can hit get ideas. Now when I hit get ideas, it's gonna start thinking of some different things to do. And so it says tenure achievement log sorted by date, achievement submitted ascendingly. And then this is the expression here. So maybe I wanna see it in ascending fashion, or maybe I don't wanna see it in ascending fashion. So let's say I wanna put in here uh, by newest first, and then I'll hit get ideas. And so here now it says, oh, because you put by newest first, I think we should do it in descending order. And so all I have to do is if I hit apply here, notice it says we updated your expression for you. And as we can see, it put in the sort command, it did it on the date achievement submitted, and it chose to do this in descending order. So again, I could have written that all on my own. I could have written that, I know how to write that formula, but if you're new to Power Apps, boom, it's done it right here for you. And this is also a great way to tell it what you wanna do, see the formula that's written, and then you can start to get familiar with the formula language as well. So that's one idea of what the ideas feature can do. Let's take a look at some of the others. So let's say that I'm not really happy with the way that my date is being returned. So it's giving me the, the date, and it's also giving me the time as well. And I really don't want that. Maybe I want to see the abbreviation of the month, and I want commas in here, etc. Well, again, I can come over here to my ideas feature and I can just start typing in what I kind of want it to look like. So for example, I could go aug, maybe 11, 2022, and then I can hit get ideas and let's see if it comes up with any good ideas for me. So it's thinking it's through and it thinks that this might work. So if I come over here and I hit apply, take a look it did it for me again and it wrote the function. So this is a text function which basically says, uh, give me a value, how you want to format it in terms of text, and then this is the formatting that it's being used. Again, I could have written that all on my own, but it was just way quicker to do it right over here. So this is our ideas feature, how we're changing things on the fly within the gallery. 
Now, sometimes it just doesn't quite figure out. You don't know how to write it in natural language of what you're trying to do here. So for example, let me come on down here to my 75. So right now, this represents the number of points that the teacher has earned. Uh, and it looks good, but maybe I wanted to say something like points earned was 75, or maybe 75 points were earned. And maybe I want it to be a decimal. Now for here, there'd be no reason why I would want it to be a decimal, but let's just say that that's the, the use case that you might have. Can we have Power Apps do the work for us? You bet we can. So let's see how we can get this one done as well. So when I have my 75 currently selected, I can put the example here, but you also have this train with examples towards the bottom. And when I click on this, this now shows me the current data that I'm looking at in here. It gives suggested ideas, and then it asks for the desired format. So for example, if it's 75, maybe I'll put in that I want to put something like um, 75.00 points earned. And then I'll give it another one. I'll give it a few. And if you're, if you're a Power BI user and you've used the Power Query Editor, you know that you kind of have this feature in there. It's called the Add Column from Examples, where you type in the example of what the data needs to look like for your new column you want to add. And then you let the Power Query Editor in this Column from Example feature figure out the transformation to do on the data to get it there. That's really what this is doing here as well. So I've got my 75.00 points earned. Uh, then I'll go 200.00 points earned. And then I'll give it just one more and we'll see if it can figure this out. 50.00 points earned. So I've given them my ideas. I'm then gonna say get ideas. And now it thinks this is what it needs to do. So there's only one way to see if it works. I'm just gonna come down here and hit apply. And bingo, 75.00 points earned. And as we see at the top, this would have been the formula that I would have had to have written on my own in order to get this accomplished. But again, it's already figuring it out for me. Such a cool feature. So hopefully you've learned some cool things that with the ideas feature that you can use. Um, it's still getting better and better with, with all the new updates that come out, uh, but it can do a lot already as is. So hopefully this helps you with your Power App building and hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.